The catacomb's entrance door is locked from the outside by the winged one's guards. It seems that leaving the catacombs by that door is not an option. Ah, oh, I love this part of the game. It's not my favorite part, but it's... It's pretty sweet. The walls of the catacombs are made of massive stone tiles. That's the north wall of the room. The main door to the catacombs leads to the outside world. Unfortunately, it's locked. Niches in the wall form stone burial beds. Ancient bones lie crumbling on the unyielding rock. Yeah, so uh, we're definitely saving here. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to go boring with that one. Um, so I don't remember exactly where to go. It's been a very long time, but um, back when I had this game, I made... I made... Um, a map, actually, like I wrote out a map as I moved through the catacombs. I think this is totally the wrong way right here, but I want to do it anyway. So you guys can see what happens. So there's a bat and there's also a rat. They move different ways, but I don't think it matters. They're not really showing you the way or showing you to your death, I don't think. Could be wrong on that. I never really looked it up. God. As he walks through the doorway, Alexander gets a very bad feeling about this room. Yep, that kills you. Tickets out next. Don't just wander, Alexander. Let your conscience be your guide. Ah, uh, freaking Sierra. You bastards. Alright, let's not do that. Let's go... See, like, there's a rat right there, but I don't think it means anything. Okay, uh, we could be stuck in this for a while. This is probably gonna take up an entire video. Um, I think we go... I know we go this way for something. See. It's like there's a bat telling us to go this way, but I'm pretty sure nothing but good stuff over here. In here? Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's check this place out. Niches in the wall form stone Damn it. burial. The remains of several unfortunate souls haunt the room. These bones seem more recent than the ancient catacomb bones that Alexander has seen so far. Perhaps they were victims of the Minotaur. Or perhaps they died while wandering lost in the maze. Three of the skeletons are completely intact. Wow, really? A torch flickers on the wall and casts shadows on the dank stones of the catacombs. How's that torch stay lit? That's crazy. I guess the mentor does it. A lone skull lies on the ground among the skeletons. Where the skull came from is a mystery, since the other remains seem to have their skulls intact. Alright, let's uh, take it. Alexander picks up the skull. Now we have it! Remember one of the spells uh, required having a skull? Now we got one. Alexander is carrying a human skull. <laughs> it's so weird. The skull is as silent as the grave. Let's put our fingers in its eye holes. Alexander examines the skull and feels a sense of his own mortality. God, you went all deep with it. All right, forget it. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure if I go down one, I die. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, this will be Catacombs 2. Alright, I'm pretty sure this kills me. Holy shit. Yep. As he walks through the doorway, 
Alexander gets a very bad feeling about this room. Go out with your crown. Eh. <laughs> he died a prince, though. Okay, come on. Tickets. Oh. Next. Don't just one. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, so that's the second time that the bat has led me to my death. So maybe the bat actually is bad. Uh, I just remember when I was a uh, when I was a kid and I played this. I was always like, "Is the bat bad?" And I did experiments, and I don't remember it ever really coming up like that. Like it didn't make any. I don't know. Oh God. This room. Um. Oh shit. Okay, so this actually. I believe this is copyright protection as well, which is stupid. But hang on, let me let me look up. Um. Real quick, because I don't remember. I used to I used to have it memorized. But uh, let's see. Shit, I, I can't find it in the in the manual. All right, let's just try it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and save in uh, Catacombs Two. All right, I'm pretty sure. Three roses. Something. Three roses sitting on the bower. A scythe for he who cuts the flower. Uh, I, I'm reciting this all from memory, sorry. Uh, I think crown next. There's like some riddle you have to remember. And then... That... This? This. Alexander Shit. feels the tile he's standing on shift beneath his feet. Uh-oh! <laughs> so, that Get scream kicks. isn't as oh. epic as uh, Graham's Next. from KQ5, but... Three spikes and you're out. Oh my god, give it a rest, man. Alright, I can't believe I got that far just based on memory alone, anyway. Something, something, scythe, uh, crown... Uh, this is a dove, I believe. Two doves? Fuck. Alexander feels the tile he's standing on shift beneath his feet. Uh-oh! <laughs> it didn't even let him finish that time. Tickets! Oh! Uh, next! Three spikes so, and you're up. So, um, it's really cool getting to play this, uh, the CD-ROM version of the game through an emulator, but... At the same time, uh, I have noticed that it, like, cuts people off sometimes, and the portraits, sometimes the mouth don't move. Um... Like that guards? Okay, this seems counterintuitive, but... Oh my god, that is it. Wow, that's it! I cannot believe that. Alright, let's go ahead and save right there. Uh... Oh, good! An old wooden shield hangs on the wall. We need that. We need it. Alexander takes the shield from the wall. And he stores it God knows where. Really have no idea. Um, I actually don't know if I was supposed to go this way or not. I don't think I was. Maybe? <gasps> ah! You were a human only, and not the monster himself. I heard you coming and thought you were the beast. Did my father send you here to save me? Why, yes he did, but how did you- Hush, there is no time. I think I have discovered the Minotaur's secret exit from the catacombs. Follow me, and we'll both be saved. Alright, so, um... Alright, let's do it. That's odd. Where did she... Yep. Go!
I always thought that was super creepy when I was a kid. Tickets. Oh. Oh my God, we've died so many times already. Don't just wonder. Shut up. Um. Yeah. So that's uh. That's the genie. <laughs> Again, masquerading as or or actually I don't know if it is because I didn't see the eyes glint, which that kind of makes it even creepier. If it's just like some malicious spirit of the catacombs. I think it's the genie though, trying to trick ya. Alright, let's keep going. Um, I believe we have to go up another one. Maybe? Uh, I'm gonna save here. I don't feel confident in this decision. I think this actually might be a trap. Oh no no it's not! It's not! Niches in the wall form Alexander notices that this skeleton has old coins over its eyes. Holy crap, holy crap, you need these. Alexander finds two coins on the skeleton's eyes. He takes the old coins. Okay. There was one time when I played this game when I was when I was young and I never I didn't find those coins when I went through the catacombs You'll see why um, And I I couldn't complete the game it was so annoying And, I, and so I always remember you have to get those stupid coins all right It's a trap the doors have sealed Alexander inside. And the ceiling is coming down. Shit. So, uh, brick. Here. In a desperate move, Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. The brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. Phew! Barely made it. Alexander is standing in a trap room with a crushing ceiling. The mechanism that lowers the ceiling has been stopped, and the trap room now stands open. Yep. I wonder what this stuff is all about, though. Oh, God. So, yeah, when I missed those coins, I just went through here, and I was like, oh, I must be going the right way. And I just kept going this way. Oh, God. All right, oh, crap. Let's save again. I can't remember which way is the, the correct way. I think it's down, actually. Maybe? Alexander hears the distant sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. God. There's nothing here. Sounds! A trap floor! <laughs> okay, Bugs Bunny. Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. Alexander can see nothing in the darkness. Is... is anybody there? There is no reply from the darkness. Alexander can't do anything in the room until he can see. Alright, got it. So, uh... Let's hope this works. Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. I wasn't sure if it wouldn't Aha. work. So that's why it's dark in here. A torch is out. That must be why. Alexander lights the extinguished torch and puts his tinderbox away. Okay, let's go ahead and save again. We never know when we're gonna die. And uh, if you're wondering if the Minotaur can find you, he actually can. 
I had it happen to me once when, <laughs> when I was younger. It really surprised me. Because I didn't think that he could. Um, but he can, so. Let's hope it doesn't happen. I'm not really sure what criteria has to be met. Ah, crap. Um, there's nothing here. There's no trap door, though. That's probably good. The walls of the catacombs are rough and cold to the touch. Alexander hears a low growling, so faint as to seem born of his fired imagination rather than of any living creature. All right, we need to we need to leave. I think he can corner you at dead ends. Uh, let's go to the left. Uh, left again, I guess. I think this is wrong. This is wrong. I'm gonna go down. Uh, I'm gonna go down again. Maybe? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I don't know. I think it's... I wanna say it's this way. Nope. Totally not. Alexander hears the sound of a wild beast again. This time, so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. Oh, fuck. The noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. Oh, wait, this is right. This is correct. Okay, here we go. Uh, here we go. Alexander puts the hole in the wall on the east wall. The hole in the wall trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. Quick, look through it. Alexander peers through the hole in the wall and sees just another room in the catacombs. Aha! Not just another room at all. So that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur's lair. At least Alexander now knows the lair exists somewhere in the maze on the other side of this wall. While Alexander contemplates what he's just seen, the hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. Alexander hopes the little creature finds its way home to the Isle of Wonder. How the hell would it do that, Alexander? So in case you're wondering, you could use the hole in the wall on the castle to see inside. And, uh, I remember when I originally found that out, I was really excited. Um, crap, how do we get there? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I think I know. Uh, I think we have to go around somehow. Okay. God. Somewhere far off into the catacombs, the sounds of hooves faintly echo. Thank you, narrator. All right, uh, let's save. Catacombs 2. I'm gonna try to get around to wherever that tapestry is. I don't think... Oh god, is it this way? I think it is. I think this is like the long way around. Anyway, um... So, question. What do you guys think of this game so far? Just curious because uh, I figure this is a good time to ask because we've gotten through some of the you got to see both sides of the game, the cheesy side of the game, and the more, like, the dark, epic side of the game, too. And, uh, you know, the, the game only gets more epic as it goes along, in my opinion. Like, the Isle of Wonder is really goofy, but, um, everything else, like, uh, is a little bit more serious, like, fantasy-themed. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. I think I am, though. I think this is it. Like, up a couple times? Up right here, I think. And like, I think... Oh, gosh. I think right here. Maybe? Oh, my God. Too good. Okay. Let's check it out. 
A very beautiful, very dusty tapestry hangs on the wall. Um, let's go ahead and save here. And let's move it. Hmm. This tapestry looks familiar. Now let's see. I don't feel anything. Aha! A hidden latch. Alexander triggers the little latch. A secret door rolls open. Pretty badass. All right, here we go. Oh, no! I beg of you, please don't hurt me! Your struggles are useless. It's the Minotaur, and he's struggling with a winged one's girl. She must be Lady Celeste. The Minotaur is a huge, monstrous beast with cloven hooves and the head of a bull. A beautiful winged one girl is struggling for her life against the Minotaur. Uh. A pit has caved in the floor in one corner of the Minotaur's lair. Flames rise from the pit as though from the throat of a dragon trapped in the earth. The fire makes the lair unbearably hot. Wow. A monstrous altar towers in one corner of the room. Alexander shudders with revulsion at the thought of the rituals performed at that sacrificial table. Jeez, man. All right, let's go. Hey. Excuse me. I demand the release of that maiden this instant, you fiend. Lady Celeste looks wildly around the room for the source of the strange voice and spots Alexander. You there, human. Help me. Help! <sighs> Who dares enter my lair? I ask you to release your captive or suffer the consequences. Never you die, human. As the Minotaur advances in attack, Alexander slowly backs away. Until he can back away no more. Now where to, little man? You burping there? The Minotaur is a huge, monstrous beast with cloven hooves and the head of a bull. Man, he's... I thought he was going to say something else about how he's about to charge. Uh, so yeah, what do you do with the charging bull? Alexander, his back inches from the fiery pit, tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen's scarf. Look here, you bully! Nice, bright red. Red. Now you die. The Minotaur drops from sight amidst the consuming flames. Slowly, his scream fades as well. Have you been harmed, Lady Celeste? Are you all right? No, I am not all right. I assume you do not intend to leave me tied up on this vile monstrosity. Uh, of course not. Sorry, let's see. If you'll give me a moment, I'll have these untied in no time. I can't wait that long. Look, I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to cut the rope. Oh, all right, I... I've got it, Lady Celeste. Here we go. Getting personal there. Personal space. Thank you. You may keep the dagger as a gift for saving my life. That's very generous. Forget it. Do you mind if we just get out of here now? Ugh. I don't know about you guys, but, uh... I was a little bit disappointed. <laughs> The Winged One's guards, bored with the pointless waiting, are startled by the sound of rock moving against rock. Lady Celeste, bide thee well. I'm quite well, thanks to the bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior intellect. Yes, me lady. Now bring him along. I'm going home. 
<laughs> there she goes. <laughs> and there he goes. Man, I wish that guard's mouth would move. I don't know why it won't. I see you have proven yourself the hero of the prophecy. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So I thank you. I am obliged to thank you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. It means much to our people. We have already begun the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. It is also my duty to grant you a visit with the Oracle. So this I do. I will grant you the freedom to leave here unharmed, despite my orders to the contrary from the Crown. But there, my obligations to you end. I Jeez. have no love for Alhazred, but he is my liege, and if Princess Kasima trusts him and wishes to wed him, my guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through, I want you to leave the City of the Winged Ones and never return. I don't know who you are or what you want here, but I will not disobey my crown further. I thank you, Lord Azure. I will respect your wishes. Jeez, man. Alexander's so polite. Anyway, off to the Oracle! Hail to thee, great Oracle. Lord Azure sends you this wingless mail. It appears that he solved the cliffs of logic and... Defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. So this is the one that haunts my pool of late. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? Princess Kasima, whatever you can tell me, great oracle. Ah, of course, the princess. That explains my images. Let us see what we can see. I see a maiden, lovely and pure, but surrounded by evil. She is a rose set amidst bitter thorns. It is her fate to be the pawn of dark powers, and yours to try to redeem her. How? How do I redeem her? Fate is not like the cut of a blade, young one, but rather like the myriad of paths formed when a hammer cracks ice. I will tell you what I can, but what will actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle, a struggle against a dark force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Who must I fight? A great darkness surrounds your adversary, preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. But before this final struggle, I see an infiltration, a dangerous game of hide-and-seek in corridors filled with enemies. The risks are high, but it is the only way to reach the one you seek. There is more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Oh! Oh, such pain. I see two restless spirits. Crying out for revenge. These shades could help you destroy the Dark Force if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. I'm afraid this is getting beyond me. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the Druids. Be warned. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you, or they might destroy you. Like their island, the druids' nature is hidden in the mists. There is nothing more I can do for you, except to give you this. 
it is water from the sacred pool. That and my blessing go with you. Thank you, great oracle. Holy crap, that was a long conversation. But hey, we found out some stuff, got some hints toward the future, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Some sacred water. Where is that stuff anyway? Oh yeah, I also got her dagger. Let's take a look at all of our loot that we got. The two coins from the skeleton in the catacombs are extremely old and corroded. The small dagger is a gift from Lady Celeste. Its handle is decorated with precious gems set in a delicate feminine style. Oh god, we have a ton of items. The small vial contains the Oracle's sacred water. The water has a crystalline appearance. The otherwise plain wooden shield is embellished with a silver cross. Okay, so uh, we've actually got some new places to go. Um, but right now, uh, when I'm recording this, it's very early in the morning, and so I need to save and go to bed. But as you can see, our score is about halfway there. So this save will be uh, that. Okay, I will see you guys later.